I don't. I think. I think it could lend itself well to him. Where uh, yeah. we're gonna be hopping in here in just a moment, John. What do you think? I, I think that it's going to be might again, no question. And honestly, I feel like Snakes, like you said, would absolutely shine over on that cave position because it's such a critical choke point. You have to defend that B site and you can really pop off and get some nice little highlight reel plays if you're in the right spot at the right time the movement is on point, which we I feel like Snakes showed over on Mirage. In fact, I connected we'll, that one round. We'll get to find out early. They are starting on the CT side, yeah. courtesy of a knife round win. Nifty posted. Ooh, they're going to be through middle immediately. It's Scar who comes back to deal with it, but actually he's got Snakes with him as well. So a straight up brawl potentially oh, wow. on deck. It's Snakes who's lost immediately, but they've gone Scar's past through. Scar. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Overzealous here. Scar, though, only takes the one. That could have been a lot worse. That could have been so much worse. And now Nifty is left to attempt a very difficult retake. I mean, Lag did do this on on Mirage, right? They had a nice little pistol round, and they got two rounds off of it, and even afterwards had five in a row until Might woke up and started to get in the game. Nifty here, still a chance, popping out with the USP. Just needs to find the scalps. The problem is no kits, so it's going to be very difficult for him to get this one, and I think he'll just try to farm some money with frags and won't even be able to do that. Experiment finds the last one. Lag going to take that pistol round, as mentioned, like they did on the previous map. Question is, can they successfully, one, build off of it, and two, actually get past that uh, turning point in order to take this map, as they weren't able to do so on the first one? Still very early days, and might they're gonna force up, they're going in. Why not? Get Swifty with it, get Frisky. See what you can do with the five sevens. Snakes is playing towards B early on, though it's DJ in the cave. All straight on take here. The utility might be oh. a little late, but Snakes <laughs> strikes the Fang Sink in. And two players are down on the dirt. Talk about that 5-7 connecting. Damn, the second one was snappy. They're in trouble now. They're in trouble now. Lag trying to regain. Look to go for the quick hitter. Just catch them off guard. Keep them on their toes. Instead now, Nyx clearing in towards cave. This could be a problem. They're coming hunting. They're coming hunting to chase it on into him. And he can only get one. One and a half, shall we say. But OG Wizard and Experitive still have to do some work here. And as Nifty pushes further with just that unarmored USP, he's realizing. Oh, it is definitely still a B tag. At some point, Scar's going to start to float. And yeah, this is that point. Now they know. Now they're yeah. calling. Now they're signaling it back around. And for lag, it's about just getting a bomb plant. Oh, no, that's a big miss. That's a huge miss. Oh, what won't you wizard through the wall? But Scar is going to manage to get the immediate trade. Experiment, the last one standing. Like you said, they do get the bomb plant, but this round has suddenly become almost unwinnable. And there you have it. Nifty finds the trade after Experiment gets one and Might's forced by pans out. Not to mention, Nifty was on the full on save because he wanted to get the AWP mm -hmm. up and running sooner rather than later. And I think he might even have enough money right now. He does. Yeah. He does indeed. What a round for Snakes, man. Oh, I mean, yeah, the two dude. kills with the 5-7 the <laughs> are just snappy, but then the harassing from Cave, it's beautifully played. I, our you eyes are it. on this man, yeah. right? Because we're looking at this. We're like, how much of the field does he have? How much of the timing is? Uh, it's starting to look pretty damn good, at least in this one. Oh, yeah. Those first two were unbelievable from Snakes. And I mean, uh, I missed having those snake metaphors come through throughout the matches, Mike, that we had mm. way back in the day. And, and you're mm. bringing, them up, bringing them to bear once more. And it's just great. Great. There's so much to work with in that regard, but I digress. You know, tied up one to one, snakes proving to be that piece that Might was looking for, at least in this matchup. And now, while well, they're looking for more, Lag are trying to get these four spy wars going. They've got three Mac 10s, the Tech 9, and the Galil purchased up. And you have base kind of lurking around in A main here while four players try to come out into mid, and that's not going to happen. DJ finds two. Nifty ends up getting traded by Nick, and that's a bad trade to lose the AWP to. I mean, you might still be able to recover it here as you did get an important one from Scar on base, but OG Wizard, yeah, OG Wizard dropping there. That means this op will likely be recovered, assuming Nick doesn't pull off a highlight real play or decide to save it. 
He's not in a position to save, really. Well, perhaps. Is but, he? I mean, B's actually more open than I expected. Doesn't have the bomb. Yeah. Can't really get this round based on this pathing. It does seem like he's going to slip the net and try and keep this big green up. Yeah, I don't think you can. Maybe you can buy it again in the next round. Maybe his teammates can drop it for him. But that's so expensive. What a big piece to lose for Might. It's unfortunate. But not catastrophic. Not yet. Especially considering you'll presumably get an eco up in the next. Yeah. Unless Apart they from... decide to force. But... I mean, you'll probably get a force, but it won't be. You just don't necessarily need an off in the next. It's a bummer to lose, but far from a catastrophe. Yeah. And of course, there's still a lot of time here. And DJ's starting to hunt. Oh, no. Nick's posted up. He's got to look this way. Shaw misses, and he's hey. a dead man. Op will be recovered. No problem there. DJ hunts down his third. No harm, no foul. Shows off the butterfly Doppler as well. And we have a two to one score line in favor of might the op immediately gets dropped for nifty and dj has plenty of cash to rebuy the a1s they got a couple of galil saved over as well and those will be very nice to have in an anti-eco situation with the additional five bullets that an ak could afford so to make that a deagle and a pg50 purchased up by lag outside of that absolutely no i, I was gonna say absolutely nothing but a little bit of util as well Nifty throws the smoke, realizes the push is coming on. He's in another tough situation. Managed to hit one shot, could get overloaded soon, and is not saved by Louie, who gets two. Ooh. Nick Ooh. manages to find two Ooh. with the deagle. The the nice knife. jumps there with OG Wizard, but yeah. The knife. Oh my gosh. Oh, might have been a little much to ask. Wanted the money, wanted the style points, but Nifty. Not gonna let that happen. Yeah, not at all. That was funny. No though. way, no how. I said, sit down, young blood. Not happening here. Oy. Buy will come through. <laughs> but now there's a little more cash in the tank for Mike, right? They built this up nicely. Yeah. Had a good start. Courtesy of that force by win. Yeah, and I think the problem with the lag is you won a lot of your rounds in that Look at first this. map. Look at the aggression on Louie. Yeah. Louis so far forward in towards A main. This setup, oh, they might not be prepared for it, but actually he peeks. He overplays it. Now Nifty's stuck. Oh, no. He was supposed to be the insurance factor, but they try and work up together, and this is a disaster. They got the kill aggressively on B, but by trying to push both sides of the map, now they've set themselves up for potential catastrophe. Smoke is well timed. That rebuffs this retake, and they're out of there. They're bailing. They can't deal with this. That is so tough. I was about to say, you know, lag unable to really get those rounds as they did in the previous map off of their pistol round because of the forest by round victory you talked about for Might. But right here, that is just, uh, it's unfortunate. It's a misplay from Louis who peeks around that corner when he really shouldn't have. Nifty was supposed to be that first contact, get the op frag. And then once they focus on him, then Louis comes around the corner to be the insurance policy. That doesn't happen at all. Louis is the one, first one down, leaves Nifty on an island in a very tough spot. Maybe he gets that first one if Louis doesn't show face, but instead they get nothing out of it. And then you see Lag come through and able to get their second round. So at least Might's able to save the three rifles and get away with that. So that means they'll have a full on buy again here, but that is a tough one for them to lose and something for them to talk about here. Don't do that again. So we go the way they'll things. avoid doing yep. it is by having no one on air, <laughs> going for mid-aggression yes. instead. That I don't mind. Yeah, I mean, but there's going to be a lot lag. of pressure on the donut player, though. A little bit. Mm, lag, yeah. lag smelling uh, weakness here. Yeah. On the A setup. They're eager. This puts all the pressure in the world on Scar. Sorry. Well, no, it is Scar. Net Scar, yeah. Going to be posted up here. He gets a timely smoke off. Could stall this out. And the question for lag is how long can we be bunched up here before we have to be worried that they have information elsewhere? With that deep smoke door, when did they go looking? 
I thought it's taking the space. I thought Snakes was going to off that smoke. Not happened yet. Might are showing patience here after being punished for the aggression in the last. They want to play back. Here comes the cross smoke. Scar commits. Can't bail out into Donut now. He's betting on himself. Molotov to make him uncomfortable. He's forced out. He swings into it. Catches one, but a one for one might not be exactly what they were looking for. Is Bomb going to be planted? Is there a nade for the pop? No. Just a spam. Desperate attempt there. And a missed opportunity they're for gonna Nifty. They're going to back off now. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like they're withdrawing. Might know they're in a tough spot here. and They've got no interest in losing the guns. That is the problem when you have only one player on that A side and it's a donut player because all the pressure is on for them. And I can't really fault Scar in that situation, right? There's the smoke that comes in, the flashbang as well, and then he's Molotov afterwards. I mean, what can you do in that when you've got the molly burning at your feet? Yes, you can swing around the right, but you're going to expose yourself to an immediate gunfight and at potentially a disadvantage. So try to catch them off guard, go into the Molotov itself, hopefully get one, which he does, but... It's really not enough given how out of position might were trying to get back into the A site. And it all falls to Nifty. He either hits that shot, which is not an easy one to hit, or they back off. And as soon as he misses, they pull the plug, say, let's save our four rifles. We have no reason to re-engage here. The odds are we've lost the site and we'll be able to take it back. So lag proving to be quite resilient, tying it up three to three and good patience there. In fact, didn't rush the issue, didn't force it towards A, waited, tried to play the mind games with might, and it ends up working. We'll see if might make an adjustment here. No, they're going to do the exact same thing as in the previous round. Take that aggressive mid control. This time, Lager oh, coming around. What a shot from Nifty. Hits the shot onto base with the AWP. Makes it a 5v4. Love that. The smoke popper, the quick shotter, and they're away. They're just so swift into it. It's like a striking cobra. They find their prey and then just whoosh, right out of there. Beautiful. That's going to stutter lag. Because they're just reeling, thinking, how do we approach this now? With the player in towards A main, I mean, they can reroute. They can take this back towards Donut. The problem is this time it's much more reinforced. You got Louis with utility. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. Scar gets away with one. Scar gets away with one, and the spam even connects for a bit. Ooh, peeking on the popper. No, just an eight throw. But here comes the bot. Scar gonna play into it. That's ambitious. Uh oh. I think he thought that was a flash, and they try and phase through on him, and now they've lost Louis as well, so the site is down. And the attempt at the cheeky play in Donut might have just cost them this round. Yeah, I mean, for Scar. I understand the idea trying to go into the smoke, but you it know, it's a flash. Yeah, exactly. And when it's a nade, that completely blows your cover and it catches the player off who's standing in the smoke way more than the one that's throwing that nade. So he just doesn't have the time to react to that play. Well done from lag again. Taking that A site. Louis, of course, just so isolated at that point, having to look in two different directions. Nothing could happen there. Lag will take the lead back after only having it briefly after winning that pistol round. Nifty, 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 nifty. You lost the AWP. Is it going to get back? Okay, DJ's got it. It's okay. He grabs it it's just in the nick of time. It's still not great. It's, it's One not, extra gun out. <laughs> but far it's from better, ideal. Than, better than losing the op, I would say. And I think they'll still be okay to get guns out for everyone. Yeah, Louis, Louis has to settle MP9. for an SMG, but an MP9 can work for him, I think. I would have we'll him see. post it up close to A main, perhaps. This yeah. is a very tense round now, though, John. I mean, we've yeah. seen this, right? Lag. She gets to pull away here on the T side. Nifty tries to go for that exact same window peak. The exact same that started things off in the last round. This time, Molotov pushes him off of it. So lag are adjusting their setup. They want this B take. And having heard perhaps the tick of that Molotov in middle. I mean, they might know that the actual B defense is lighter. Maybe. Pressure on for snakes, but he's deployed utility well to stall this out. And lag don't want to test it.
I mean, lag, if there's one thing I got to give them credit for on the T side, it's a ton of patience. Mm. Not much anxiety about where they're going to go. They're very calm, poised. Look at this space towards A. Yeah. Look at how much space has been given towards A. I'm surprised with how committed Nifty is that they're still floating over, but without window control, without anyone forward in cave as well, they're very nervous about the window peak. As I say that, though, Scar's getting active. Ah, but there's going to be no one on the timing. They're just in towards sight clean. A couple shots rung out from Louis, but that just doesn't really matter. It's certainly not going to persuade them. One smoke and a donut, and they're good. But the smoke went A main. There's got to have been a missed smoke there. I think there might have even been two. But somehow it's going to work out. Louis dead. Man advantage. Player coming donut late. And Nick. And he's actually waiting. He th they think it's going to be a safe. They're correct. But I don't know what Nick thinks he's doing for the punish. Sorry, it's Experative who's back there. Not going to try for the hunt. Not going to try for the punish. Just going to let them get away with this one. Yeah. A little odd on don't, that one. Don't need to do that at this point. You got a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe just a bit of an experience coming through there. Perhaps the nerves are shining through a little bit for some players here on lag. Either way, they're going to take a 5 3 lead. And I think the problems are more on Might's side. Their CT sides have left a lot to be desired so far here. And uh, again, like a very big defensive gap left on the A side, which is oftentimes the way teams like to play Ancient. Just when you see the opponents continually abusing it round after round after round, eventually you have to say, okay, let's put two players there and at least have some sort of proper hold that we can kind of rely on, and, and maybe even three in the early parts of the round, just to kind of keep that presence there and give up a little bit of mid control, maybe post up Nifty as the opera there, and uh, then have uh, Anchor on the B site. That could be Snakes. I think Snakes could anchor it well for the early goings and then get the reinforcements later. Anyway, look, there, there's a lot of different approaches that, uh, that Mike can take, but that A site, something needs to change. They need to answer to what lag is delivering them. It is interesting they haven't gone for any sort of aiming or mid-elbow aggression, right? They got spanked that one round. They went for the aggressive yeah, a setup. Yeah, and then they stopped, which they, you know. They played very passive since. I, I don't think that it was because they played aggressive they lost that round. It's because they misplayed the aggression that they lost it. So, yeah. See if a changeup's coming through. It's just Louis towards this side early on. It's the same thing. It does really? seem to be. This is just weird. Maybe it's just for the early util. Maybe I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Early util towards B and they'll rotate someone over to the A site. Because I, if I'm lag, I'm going there again. Like, I'm going there until it doesn't work. And they're hearing you. I mean, especially with it being Louis the stand-in playing, right? Exactly. If, you, if there was one Abuse weak it. spot you'd be looking for, no offense to Louis, no, yeah. it's going to be the stand-in. Timely smoke up. This time, Scar comes over to reinforce. But they don't have any vision mid. There could be a player oh, nice in Donut shot. now. Base getting a kill. Oh, my. That could help. That's certainly going to freeze up Snakes. Nothing he could do about this to rotate off. They seem to be committed towards going A. Base is just trying to throw a little bit of a fake here. And at least for the moment, Might's not biting. Double stack up on the big box. This is going to get to be a weird fight. Scar has to smoke up. Keep himself from burning. Second Molly goes in. Louis gets oh, wow, two. Louis, okay. The spray down successful. But still with the sight lost. This bomb's going down. And no one from Might is willing to brave the smokes to go through with it. Well, that's a good trade coming through. Ooh, look at this rap, though. Look at this rap from Based. Bomb's not planning for him. They're just going to defuse. They're just going to defuse. No one's peeking. No one's peeking. Bomb oh, has been man. defused. Both players played way too safe there. The bomb was planted for Donut. And they needed someone to be able to reinforce from it. Oh, that should have been around for lag. They just needed to play it a little more aggressively on the post plan. Like you said, way too passive, too far away to really deal, deal with it. And DJ, recognizing that, just decides to stick to defusal and wins the round for his squad, perhaps one that Mike shouldn't have gotten there. But a fourth will indeed come through. I love that frag to open things up by base towards the B site um, onto Nifty, and then just gain that space. Even though Mike do hang two players back towards A, it's Louis standing in the fire in the flames, managing to get two. I mean, you just need to put a ton of pressure on him, and I guess with the Molotov, and he's able to deliver a couple. 
which was great and it helped them at least have the chance to get back in. Here's another opening frag found towards the B side a lot earlier on in the round this time from OG Wizard. Based into cave. Snake Spy is lonesome and it's going to get even worse for Might now as Nifty was caught getting way too aggressive out towards mid. Oh boy. Well, at least there's a freebie there. That might just allow Louis the save. Chance on the AK round, certainly not in doubt. But at this point, Lagar going to hunt. No reason to let them take a gun through. And Beast will not allow him to. So no gun gained. The change of pitch comes through from Lag to great success. And now Lag, I mean, have at least secured an even line, and it's an eco out from Might, so this could get even better. Yeah, and I don't necessarily mind Might getting aggressive towards mid because there's been so much pressure put on A main, so I think Nifty was trying to get on that flank. It's just that I, I just don't feel like necessarily Nifty should have been the one going for it. Maybe should have had someone else kind of charging in there. Maybe one of your riflers going out and looking for those fights. Anyway, good on Lag. Changing up the play a little bit, going towards that B site, and a great opener from OG Wizard, who's been quite quiet these first half. In fact, it's quite the six rounds. Oh, here comes a fight and experitive along with OG Wizard answering the call nicely. Four frags combined amongst them. Scar, the last one standing. It's just pistols for might, of course. Just not much expected, but they do make it clean on the lag side. Easily done. Got to win the gimmies to make it happen. It was a 7 5 on Mirage. Mm hmm. I'm gonna be looking to do one better here. Yeah. Admittedly, again, reminding us of Mirage. It was the T side that was much more impressive for lag. They struggled on the defense. We'll have to find out if that's gonna be the case here again. Maybe they can change it. Maybe they can change their fortune. <laughs> it's actually crazy to think that for Might, I mean, this required a crazy Snakes 5 7 round. Nifty, straight to the fray. Snakes. Trying to get Util out. Yeah, it says Bell wrong. And this is falling apart for Might. Mm, maybe not. Defense here, Scar. A blinded up Molotov goes a little awry, but OG's able to trade it. Bomb down. Louis under pressure, fumbling some Util, but he's got the kill through. And now it all falls to Experitive. Wanted to check to make sure the player wasn't on the bomb. Experitive on Louis, a one for one duel. Experitive just gonna air bomb this Molly on the tap of the bomb. Oh, a little early. And into a smoke? And off target. Entirely. Didn't have the lineup. Thought he had the cool play, but instead it will be Louie to bring it through. 10 second defuse and all. 5 to 7. The score line once more as we hit the path.
Back in with the second half. And away we go with this pistol round. Well, we get a repeat story from Mirage, where it might just put the difference between the two teams on display. There were big issues for Might in this first half. I think uh, I think this defense might have exposed the fact that they've got Louis standing in a little bit more. Yes, absolutely. No question. I, I mean, like, Louis, even though I can't fault him for everything at all, and, I, and we shouldn't because it's a team effort at the end of the day, um, there were a lot of moments where it felt like Lag were abusing the position that Louis was in uh, because they knew that he was the weakest player to target, right? Mm. So, did manage to get some uh, interesting frags, though. So can't take that away from him. And now on the T side is where that becomes less of a factor. And it becomes more about your opening frags. Oh, nice shot fading away by Experitum onto DJ. Scar managed to slip through though and Snake, despite being blinded, still finds the headshot. Scar gets one and Snakes finds his second. There we go. B site cleared out. There's the Snakes effect. There's the Snakes oh, wow. effect. They could circumvent him a whole lot in the first half. Not so much anymore, but it's the Dooley's here. The Quaddy's out, and Snake's continuing oh, to what? hit headshots. His fourth How? pistol kill found, and Snake's is thriving. How does he only take, what, 24 damage in that round? That's he ridiculous. He just stands still and shoots, man. Literally, He's not even dodging. Just, He's just, just hitting headshots. I mean, there was a little bit of dodge in there. I have to say, like, some of the strafing was there, but I agree with you, Mike. Like, he's literally in the same spot uh, for the entire time, and they just can't hit him. They can't hit him. Nice headshots. Might get a six, and honestly, I kind of am expecting a repeat of Mirage where Might kind of put on a clinic on their T side. Like I said, you know, you have uh, going for those entries, Scar, along with Snakes, maybe throwing DJ in the mix there once in a while. But, I mean, these guys don't have to worry as much about, you know, the weak points because they can just focus on the tip of the spear. Right, DJ. DJ focusing on farming up them eeks in this round. And them eeks have been farmed successfully. Delicious, delicious eco kills. 7 HP, and they're like, where do you, where do you get to? Where do you get to? <laughs> you had to get away. Where's that expiritive? Well, I'll be allowed to leave for the moment live for the moment rather and with this bomb down I might will tie off the score line uh, right off the rip here mm. in the second half there it is experitive poked his nose around cave louis gets a frag and that will do it might tie it up seven to seven here come the rifles for lag but that didn't really change much on mirage and we'll see if that uh Perhaps we'll have give them better fortunes here on Ancient, but you know, might maybe because they're a bon bonus round here. They've got two AKs, still per very potent, a Galil and the two Mac tens, perhaps a little bit vulnerable. But hey, look, if you go for a fast play, you keep the Mac tens on the front lines. Maybe they're, they're uh, effectively mitigated on this round, especially if they can find some frags. But it doesn't look like that's what they want to do. I mean, you have Louis kind of lurking towards the B site. Nifty is always on the back lines trying to set up that util. So it is just the rifles going in for that opening frag, which, again, I don't necessarily mind. Maybe the MAC-10s can do that uh, finishing touch damage on the players that the rifles could damage. OG Wizard waiting behind the box here. Big box. No one's clearing it. No one's clearing it. OG Wizard gets one. Not a second. Great flashbang thrown by Nifty. That is what he's known for. Experiment managed to get the trade through the smoke. And then a follow-up by Nix will help immensely. Now it's just the two Mac 10 players, but guns are on the ground. Nifty fakes the plant. He's probably going to back off to the B site. Yeah, he's leaving. He's leaving. Louis found the path. The path forward. The question is, do you get caught by Nix here? Oh, I think that smoke's a little too early. Ooh, it does pull Nyx away from the red room peak, though, which actually allows Nifty to get here. I don't mind the play. The problem is they are going to come through. So now if you're Louis, you need to be prepared for that reality. Bomb has been planted. Bomb's going to go down. Three players bunched up. Nice nade. <sighs> nice nade. Louis has one. Louis has one. Come on. Throw it, Louis. Throw it. Throw it, Throw it Louis. Too late. Got to go to the guns now. Louis gets the first. But a low HP nifty. He's now got a bomb to defend. And he's got a lot of trouble to do with it. Needs to hit the headshots. He knows. Tap on the bomb. Spray out. He'll have to reload. And they know. That's the moment to strike. 
Plenty of time for that defuse. Nice recovery there from lag. Takes a couple smoke kills to get it, but get it, they do. Yeah, and I love the play at the end, right? You just tap the bomb. You know that he's going to have to commit some spray to it because he has no visibility, and he does exactly that. He uses almost all his bullets just to try and find that. Pulls out the pistol, but it's just a USP available to him, and that's not going to be nearly enough to deal with two players on lag with M4s in their hands. So well played. They recover nicely. Like you said, a couple of smoke kills help them find their way through. But again... It was a bonus round for Might, and I think that's where Lag found a win on Mirage as well. So let's see if uh, things will change here once Might have the full AKs out, and that's exactly uh, what they have. Louie charging out, throwing that Molotov immediately towards the B site, trying to convince Lag potentially that a full-on push is going to come through early on. In fact, there are four players postured here towards the B site. Nifty is looking around towards mid, throwing a Molotov. He got the smokes tossed out for Donut and, uh, and excuse me, Red Room. Base. around pillar doesn't get anything what a frag from scar to open things up Weesh. and snakes with the follow-up at least there's one brought back on dj but one more kill this fast turns into a save you get this bomb planted there's that nice kill hunted piece. up snakes goes out knows he just needs to secure it and as it is now this should be a bang on save that's a backbreaker of a round huge kills from scars and snakes And now, well, all that momentum you got back from some fortunate breaks on the smoke kills. It's let out. Tires deflated. Yeah. Tough sledding in the next round ahead for lag. I have to say, you know, Scar previously played with, I think, the jungle and was also on Limitless at one point to get that experience mm -hmm. in ECL. He's impressing me with these entries. He's going out yep. on Mirage, he was doing well here. Again, he finds a wicked one. And I think it was afterwards, Snakes finding the follow up. Just so well played getting into that B site. And those are the types of things you need from him. He might not be at the top of the scoreboard, but if he's getting those entries on T side and at least doing damage, I mean, that's all you could ask for. It feels like he and Snakes are working really well as a tandem, yes, too. Yes, agreed. In particular, you know, they're going in 1-2 in most situations, uh, and they seem it to be working well as a pack. Which is something you like to see if you're on mic. Pause taken here. Not sure exactly the nature of it. Would make sense to throw a timeout in if you were deciding if you wanted to risk things, but based on the HUD, I think we might have more of a technical problem. The HUD tells the tale, John. Yeah, no, we got a tech issue coming through here. Well, hopefully not a long one. Hopefully not a long one at all. And with the buy coming through, I would imagine it's not. So back to the lottery here, John. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't have another question. I feel like I've gotten enough out of the lottery question. Okay. My frivolous thing is I'd buy a classic <laughs> car. Oh, uh, okay. I'm not even that big of a car guy, but there's some of the classic, like particularly American muscle cars that are just, oh, they're so pretty. The like, like, uh, like a, like a '60s Mustang fastback, or an old split windshield Stingray Corvette. Just one of those to sit in the car and take out on weekends and or sit in a garage and take out on weekends and tootle around in. <laughs> yeah, I'm not much of a car guy, Mike, so that, that would not be on my list at all. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I, I can understand it. They're very nice. Like uh... it's it's the kind of thing, it's literally like the last priority, you know? Like I'm not trying to do this with my actual lifestyle, but literally if I just had a few money where it just doesn't matter anymore, that's the thing that I'd do. All right, looks like we're going to get back into the action here. Timeout has ended. Whatever technical issue was uh, happening has been resolved. And we go into round number 17. Lag, looking for something, anything, to get their CT side going, which has not been pretty. Going all the way back to Mirage. Three A1Ss, two MP9s. The utility is just so light, though. Only two smokes, no Molotovs to stop a quick push. And might it looks like they're kind of setting themselves up for that quick push up the ramp. Here they come. Smokes out. Molotov as well. And it's gonna be down to the fights for lag. Thanks. 
man. Timing on the strike! Scar thought he finished off the aye kill, aye and aye. somehow both players are alive after this. I mean, a nade will end it. A molly will end it. A bullet will end it, but they lure him into the crossfire, and... Actually, good impact from Nyx, just being bait out there. That nades... Oh, I thought it was gonna commit. It would have been a kill. It would have been a kill, but he pops the smoke instead, and there's no one peeking. Louis will be dead to the second HA. But Snakes somehow lives on one point of health. And Nifty is flanking all the way around. Oh, he's going to be here in time. I was going to say, Tommy might be the issue. Snakes lost, but DJ's there for the punish. And that is very nicely done. Might survive. Wow. All right. Good hold from Might. I just take that round 9-6. Another tactical. I shouldn't say another. It's the first tactical timeout being called by Lag. We just had a previous timeout. That was a tech pause. This time, Lag want to talk things over. Money's not great. Losing that round. And that beginning of it was just pandemonium, Mike. Neither team could finish their food. The spray's not connecting. And it felt like things could change in a moment's notice with a nade being tossed. But it, it just never happened from either side. And eventually, Mike wins those duels despite being very low HP. If one of the Lag players tossed a nade down wrap, it could have been curtains for Mike. Instead, they do manage to fight their way out. And eventually... They find their rhythm. So we go into things here. Might. They've got the lead. Back in their hands. Nine to eight in their favor. And looking at lag. They are just going to try pushing up mid. I don't mind it. A risk with the pistols in hand. Although Nick does have the MP9. Could find a fight here with Nifty. This is such a tough spot for Nifty to be in. I mean, yes, he has the advantage in terms of firepower, but four crosshairs oh, are now looking here. in this direction after he fired off that shot. Yeah, on this smoke fade. Good luck, Nifty. Oh. Back around the corner. This is the way to do it. Couple impacts there. But now, that actually funnels them back oh, into wow, Nick. And Nick! Oh, Nick gets three? Are you kidding me, Nick? The bomb's here. They're gonna commit. They're up against the pistols. That's it. But Nifty now in a 1v1. And a Deagle on the other side. A body shot might be enough to do it here. Certainly two would end this. It's all about who finds contact first. Behind these boxes. Based. Oh. <laughs> Playing with them. One more shot needed. And the bomb is right in his grasp. Is the big problem. Nifty thinks a kingdom, a, a, a Molotov, a Molotov, my kingdom for a Molotov. Oh, this protracted duel. A base is repositioned. Win with the bomb claim. Now he's out. Trying to read this rotation from Nifty. Nifty could actually hit him with the double back. 23, 23 seconds. seconds. Does he have the time to go around towards B? Does he just route Donut? I don't think he does. He's got just enough time to make this work, but the problem is... Oh, base no, has yeah. beaten him to the punch. Base predicted this. Base read him like a book. And that's a beautiful effort. Just pistols on for lag. I mean, I like the idea for Nifty. I think it was just very telegraphed, right? At that point, once he grabs the bomb, I mean, it feels like that was his entire objective the whole time to grab the bomb and go B. And it's a perfect read on the lag side, rotating back to B. And, and the deagle's enough. I understand fighting back into that 2v3 for might because there are so many guns on the ground like if you leave that fight and you try to plant b at that moment then you have three rifles to worry about on the other side going for a retake versus there they try to take the fight win the duels against the pistols it works out almost but there's that last player with the deagle and nifty just cannot lock him down and take him out of that round and of course at the end of the day a perfect read means that no time for nifty to actually get to the b set i actually probably would have preferred him faking it and going back to a but uh, he has other plans he was fully committed to b and i mean with 13 seconds left yes he would have made it in time to plant the bomb i think but it would have been so very close and one thing goes wrong and you're done and that one thing absolutely did go wrong a little bit of a hot issue here, but you'll just have to bear with us for a round. We had a player drop and reconnect. So we've got a uh, secret agent OG wizard in this round. Not visible on the mini map. Not visible on the board, but he is holding a main. So we'll just assume that. Try and keep you updated on his rotation, though we ourselves 
We're in the same boat you are. Viewer watching at home. We can't see him either. No. Only on the x-ray. But he's there. He's a wizard, in fact. He is. So he's using an invisibility spell. An OG one might say, and he is going to connect. <laughs> this is not experimentative. This is, in fact, OG wizard. Nicely hit there. Starts them off well, and now might. In a tough spot, because look at this. They've gained so much space towards B. That makes this spot a lot easier to deal with. Such a passive hold from lag. Smoke's going to go down. They've got the deep angle. The bomb's going to be planted open. Now here's the battle in. And with Nyx now lost, this is disastrous. Don't forget they still have four up. The nade trade snakes. And that will confirm a confident retake is about to be on the books. Oh, that re-smoke, though. And they don't have any flashes? Nah, they're going through it. They're going through it. Not a problem here. Ooh, G Wizard, lucky to be alive, but now it is just DJ all on his lonesome. And the jump through what? from OG, <laughs> the no scope. Are you kidding me? OG Wizard is continuing to impress Oi. here. A jumping no scope shot hit. I thought that because the smokes run out, they don't have the flashbangs, that there would be a potential advantage if might holds the angle around the smoke but they don't they back off and then they lose that one player afterwards i mean i thought og wizard was dead to rights he wasn't then he hits the jumping no scope so you know <laughs> he continues to defy expectations as we're back into things here a timeout going to be called by mike to talk things over as they should it feels like this map might be slipping through their fingers mm. I, I think most critically as well, that's around that that's put some life into OG Wizard. Yes. Right? He was top of the board. He was dominating over on Mirage. Has been kind of been quieter here. He's been, he's been fine, but he's been quieter. And uh, they, a little bit of heroics in that last one, maybe putting the flare back into it. You're just running out of wiggle room now, if you might. Their wind condition has activated. They've got the lead. You're on an eco. Thinking a lot about that lost round of pistols right now. Yeah. I mean, both teams tend to play very close matches on Ancient. I mean, even when you look at the fact that Mike did 2-0 Mythic, it was 13-10. to So pretty close in that affair as well. Nick is going to get the opener. A second one as well. Snakes has managed to get the trade, but so much damage delivered from the bullets and the util by lag that this shouldn't nice be read. too tough to close out. Yeah, OG Wizard finds Snakes. Nifty is going to be dropped again, and it's only Scar left and no longer. Nice bit of micro there from OG Wizard. Feeling the timing coming up. Donut getting the kill there, readjusting in towards A main. Nicely played. And we could have a split series here, John. Yeah. This round just about determines it. Mike will be emptying out the pocketbook, turning their wallet upside down, shaking it like it's a cartoon, and a little fly will come out. I mean, yeah, it is T-side, though. $2,900 loss bonus. They'll be able to scrounge together a buy in the next round should they lose this one, but, I mean, that would be very bad news for Mike in this map. Louie, oh my goodness, burning through the Molotov, goes down to 24 HP just to gain that positioning and find out that no one is towards mid anyway. All right. Lag, three players on B, one actually in red room. That's Experative. And the solo hold on A for Lag is Nick. OG Wizard. That's not the guy you want to be fighting with. He's in cave with the off. Not a very, I would say, orthodox position for the AWP. Mm. But he makes it work. He does indeed. And he shifted around, right? They've had him in the, on, on A the last two rounds. <laughs> you think you're avoiding him by headed to the other side of the map. And instead, now you're down Louie and Scar. And life is getting very difficult indeed. Experative. The next one tested. Timing on that peak is brilliant. Catches DJ with his pants down. And the follow-up as well. Bomb down to dirt. Lag hunting for map point. And Snake's the only one who can do anything about it. And with the money as it is, he might just look to save. It's a long time to do so, but getting back into this round is not looking like a real possibility. Feels like Nifty's um, 
Looking a little lost on Ancient, I have to say. You know, a lot of the times he was going for that aggression um, on CT side. As Xperia is going to clean up snakes, finds his third on the ground. A lot of times he was going for that, for that aggression on CT side. It wasn't working at all. This time he's really in odd places on T side, oftentimes falling. That duel and the 1v1 not going his way. It's uh, It's been a little tough to watch, but I mean, hopefully he'll be able to rally the troops here mm -hmm. on this timeout. I mean, that's his role, after all, is calling the shots as the IGL. If he can do that, then all will be forgiven. Not a lot to work with in this one, though. No. You're drawing it up on the chalkboard. Going to emphasize the utility at the cost of some of the weaponry. That means we've got two MAC-10s out and a Tech-9 and a Deagle. DJ, the only one with the big gun. So a little bit of a hero buy for DJ, perhaps. Normally, seeing this kind of a buy, you'd expect a faster play. Oh, they actually sacrifice a bunch of util for another rifle. But, frankly, with everything on the line, do they have the chutzpah to go for that faster hit? Looks like it. Four players headed towards B early. Just going to be nifty to have a little bit of presence in towards mid. And look at these nades. Actually, they don't do that much. No. <laughs> they looked like, <laughs> they, looked like they were going to. Mini -map. Yeah. Love the idea. Love the spam damage out on Scar. At least for a moment. Might are wary that they could get a cave push. The way this is designed, it's to hesitate to hold for aggression, take a little bit of cave presence, and then explode on towards B. That's the play call as it seems. Maybe utility to limit their vision, limit their information. And here comes the utility over. They're going on in. They spotted one. There's actually a third player coming over. The defense is good for lag. It's a little far afield. They might have to concede this bomb plant here. Definitely. And now, yeah, I mean, the flash brings it back them way the heck up. Bomb still hasn't crossed. This is a little bit weird. They're actually past the Molotov. Trade on one, but it doesn't go their way. Spam through will at least keep the numbers even. I want to put this away here and now. It doesn't get easier than this opportunity, than this chance. But Experiment splits the difference on the two players. And now OG Wizard, a rare miss. It all falls to Nick. The nade might take Scar. It does indeed. But Nick still has work to do with the rifle. Right idea on the peak. He's got the kit. He might have just found the gap between them. But oh, nifty oh, there we go. Will hit a ripper of a dig. And it's going to be Might still fighting. All right, Nifty, delivering when it counts here. Nice shot from the Deagle. Tenth round found, and a great strategy called, right? They just slowed down the pace, went towards the B site, found that presence, that space over in mid, and also cave. Did pretty much exactly as you were describing, Mike, finding the cave presence, and then going and pincering onto the site. Got the important trades and frags onto the site proper, and then a great post-plant defense. And I mean, some good flashbang utility usage in the post plant to force lag into a tough spot. Still, it's going to require another great round from Might because lag have full on utility and guns. They got the 4A1Ss and the AWP, and OG Wizard's not missing that time. Overkill with the headshot onto Nifty. The thing is, it's a ruse. They're going to the A site, and they've got a free site to plant on. Nice little fake there. It is indeed. Louis, though, instantly cleaned up here and towards Donut. He's going to be Snakes. Snakes is working his way around, but he's got to get going on this. He's got to get a boogie on it. Trying to flank them up in towards Donut. The Molotov locks out the one. Do they smoke for this bomb defuse? Uh-oh. Snakes might be in real trouble here. Does he have the lineup? It's a little high, and he's dropped wow, down, lag. and this game's over. Lag winning here on Ancient. They split the series up against Might, and that is an important third win on the season now for lag yeah absolutely three and one they continue to play really solid fundamental counter-strike on the lag side right i mean sure mirage was a little bit tough and there were some defensive lapses on that side that really cost them but this time you know yes they have a little bit of struggle at the beginning of the half but afterwards they really tighten things up they play a great ancient honestly and i mean they